Good morning. It's cold, chilly January morning here and the dog needs some exercise. We've come out to Newtown Nature Reserve, but none of that is actually important to you because what I wanted to share with you today is an approach to supporting communication development that isn't about developing vocabulary. It isn't about speaking clearly. It's about something much more fundamental than that. It's about learning to enjoy being with another person and figuring out how to interact and play together. Many of the children that I have the pleasure of seeing for speech and language therapy sessions need help figuring out these fundamental aspects of communication, like figuring out how to share personal space, learning how to use eye contact, and gesture and play with the different things that our voices can do and start figuring out that back and forth of turn taking. Within therapy sessions I'll often use an approach called intensive interaction to help children figure out these elemental aspects of early communication. Intensive interaction is a paired back approach to supporting communication with a focus on tuning into the child noticing what they're interested in and choosing how to respond to that in a supportive way. Okay, dog's getting antsy. We better start walking. I love this approach to helping children with these early aspects of communication because it gives children the space to lead and to help them figure out that they can communicate their interests and that the people around them will respond to those early attempts to communicate. So these are often children who haven't yet figured out that communication can be this magical, powerful thing for them. And so it takes time. So the challenge for us grown-ups within these situations is to avoid giving suggestions for how we should play together, but rather to wait and give the child the space to figure out what they're interested in and to show us that. Sometimes there's a misconception that intensive interaction is simply about copying someone, when actually it's more about acknowledging and responding in a variety of really simple ways to what that person is doing and how they're communicating. So I'm aiming to respond in a way that says, I see you and I'm interested in you. Let's figure this out together. Often because my children might not be saying very much or might not be talking at all, it does mean that we don't have very much talk going on in our therapy sessions. But that's not to say that we're not doing a lot of other things in that time as well. We might be playing with our actions or our voices. <sighs> Rollo wants a stick. It's in the middle of a muddy pond, of course. Check this out. You can't have it, dude, look. Right there, that's no good. Ultimately, it's about us being open and engaged and intentional about how we respond and how we interact together. And as with all good therapy, it involves teamwork. It involves me working closely with a family, any of those key adults that are involved in a child's life, and talking together about what we observe, what we notice, what we see as helpful in helping that child to build their communication. So we use video a lot within this as well. Being able to look back and spot those small little moments within a video and to talk about what's really significant about those is a big part of the process. I really appreciate this approach to supporting those children who aren't naturally developing these skills because there is still some intrinsic motivation within it. We are trying to make the process of learning these fundamental aspects of communication as natural and motivating as possible. So within intensive interaction there's no specific protocol, no specific things to tick off the list. We do have a variety of aspects of communication that we are looking out for and that we're noticing develop. But we're we're not following a specific step-by-step -step, one, two, three process within that. And I think that that fits with what communication naturally is. It's a beautiful, messy, complicated, shared process. And it's an absolute pleasure for us to be able to figure this out with a child, figure it out together. What, how do you want to communicate? This is how I'm responding to that. Can we work this out together?
If you want to find out more, then I will pop a link to the Intensive Interaction Institute below for you to check out. There's lots of videos there, you can get a bit of a feel for it. Intensive Interaction is just one of the many approaches that I use within my speech and language therapy sessions. And I'm going to share a few more approaches with you over the weeks to come. If you're interested in early communication development and helping your child learn through play, then hit subscribe and I'll be back next week sharing some information about how I help those little ones to build joint attention. I'll see you then.